It is the next day and I will be doing another step in preparation before receiving my PCM and installing my tune. I will be removing the radiator support today, so let's get into that. Here is the radiator support beam and this is what we will be removing. Uh, the reason that we need to do that is eventually we're gonna need to cut a piece of it off to make room for the supercharger, which I believe we'll be cutting right here. And so it can sit right there in the front of the engine bay. Um, in the manual, the vehicle they're showing is different from mine. I'm pretty sure it's a Challenger. You can tell by the lights. That's what my light looks like. That one's different. Um, and they want you to remove the air temperature sensor, which they're showing located right here, kind of on the wall next to the light, um, which is not how it is on my car. I'm pretty sure this is the air temperature, air uh, temperature sensor. And to remove it, there's just a plastic clip that I need to pop out right there. And then two clips right here and right here where it's popped into the plastic that I'll also be popping out. And then next, they're wanting you to remove the plastic crash beam cover. This is what they're showing. And then there's clips you just pop out to pull that off. That is not on the front of my vehicle, as you can see. But I do have these plastic pieces, which are attached to the radiator beam right here, right there. Boop. And right here so I'll be removing those and these on each side and then they also pop in right there which I'm pretty sure you just lift up so I'll be removing the sensor in these plastic pieces next we will be removing the horns so there's one right here with a 10 millimeter screw just remove that two plugs unplug it set it aside same thing with this one and then you're gonna remove the lights and the manual they say there's eight uh, three eight millimeter screws holding it in. There's four on my headlights, so one, two, full focus. You can see it back there, two, three, and four. That one I had to use an extended socket head on, so I would just keep that in mind. It's kind of difficult to get to that one underneath there. And then they say to remove two radiator tie downs. I'm not 100% it's these, but I'm 90% sure it's this and this right here, since I'm gonna have to take this off so it makes sense these would come off. So I'm just gonna do that and hopefully it works out. Something I forgot to mention was when you take out your headlights, you have to unplug them. So just make sure you do that and don't just rip them off. And then next you're gonna be taking off your hood latch, which from what it looks like is just two 10 millimeter screws. So we're gonna take that off. This next part in the manual is a little confusing how they explained it. So I'm just kind of doing it based off of how it looks for me. I just did this side, so I'm just gonna show you what I did. I removed this 10 millimeter bolt. I removed these two 13 millimeter bolts. I removed these two 10 millimeter bolts. Then I removed this 10 millimeter bolt down here and this 13 millimeter bolt down there. And I'm just gonna be doing that to both sides. Next, we will be popping out these plastic clips right here, connecting your brake lines to the radiator support beam. And you can see, I just Popped it out of that hole right there. And obviously do that gently. Those are your brake lines. And I'm just gonna do that on that side as well. And then after that, there's, just trying to get down here. there's a 10 millimeter screw connecting your airbag sensor right there. It's gonna be on each of these vertical beams. We're gonna unscrew that as well. I didn't notice these two screws earlier, but there's also a 10 millimeter screw right here you're gonna to wanna to remove. And a 10 millimeter screw on this side as well you're gonna to to remove. One thing I didn't fully explain was taking off the hood latch. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of plastic clips connecting this wire to it all along down here too. I just used some pliers and pulled it all out because uh, it's kind of interweaved between this. So you're gonna wanna take that off. And then also there's gonna be this, where was it?
this wire was on here like this. And basically I just lifted this part out and then lifted this part out, pulling it out after that afterwards. So that's how you fully take off the hood latch. And you wanna not have this wire obstructing it, but that should be everything and this should just come off. things connecting a wire over here I didn't show every single one I took out but you'll just see them as you go along you just pop them out and bam got that bad boy off and then tomorrow I probably will be cutting it, so that will be exciting. Here we have the radiator support beam fully taken out of my car. I went ahead and a few days ago made the cut into it. I went to a shop that had a cut wheel, um, an air compressor cut wheel, and a sander that allowed me to do that cut. As you can see, that's how it turned out. It's not the cleanest, but should do and i just cut it out it's plastic mainly and then there's metal to it too like this part was metal but inside of it was all plastic um and then yeah i just cut off cut it off the piece and then i also had to cut out this stuff in here which was kind of difficult because i'd have to like cut into it and then just kind of like i would take pliers and just rip it out pretty much and then slowly cut off more chunks and then i just sanded the edge so it's not sharp metal it's gonna cut you or ruin anything and they say to do that on the driver side so you can see it's on the driver side that's where the headlights would be in the manual they have like two pages you put like you can put like a piece of paper over that's how i did it and i just traced over it and then put those papers together on cardboard and i cut this out they have like a template you use um and then in the manual they show it right here you can see with the template but i had a little bit of difficulty because there's curvature in my support it's not, it's not completely straight like that. So I think I made it work. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, but you can see what I mean right here. If I just try to put it down flat, it's kind of that area, but I just kind of pushed it down, made my line and I just made it work. Hopefully this cut allows everything to fit just the way it's supposed to be. But I will be reinstalling this, and I also got my PCM back today, so I'll be finishing my tune, so we can really get into the nitty gritty now. I have the sport beam halfway reinstalled. Reinstalling it is just what we did, the steps we took to take it off, but in reverse. So there you go. Uh, I have the PCM. I just put it back in. It's all plugged in. Here's the box that it came in, they sent me. Pretty cool. But now that I got that back, I just got the laptop. I'm about to finish the tune for this. Last night, I finished fully uploading my tune to my car. So now I'll be able to finish 
fully put on the rest of my supercharger kit. So that's pretty exciting. I decided to just go ahead and finish putting on the rest of the front of my car, making sure everything was plugged back in as stock as possible before I uploaded the tune. I didn't know if that would affect anything. So I decided to just play it safe and make sure everything was plugged back in before I did that. Uh, I just have the two main screws in the corners holding up my front bumper so I can take that off easily again. Uh, how I went about uploading the tune, I just plugged the tuner into the OBD port, had my laptop in here with the Wi-Fi connection, plugged that in, started the car without pressing down on the gas button, and then I clicked on the file that HP Tuner sent me, the tune, twice, opened the VCM editor, I clicked right, I didn't have to put in the license stuff because I already had done that previously when I tried before to upload the tune, and... It went through uploading it, then halfway through, they want you to basically restart your car. So I did that, and then it finished, and it said that it um, basically it failed, had like a failed message. So I didn't think it fully uploaded to my car, uh, so I was worried about that. And it, it obviously did changed my car some because there was like flashing lights so was making weird noises uh when it was finished my range of miles was cleared so i was like damn i don't know what i'm gonna do because it's it was friday last night and i can't call hp tuners or rip superchargers because it was later in the evening so i didn't know if i should just retry uploading the tune or wait to ask for their advice but i just decided to go ahead and re-upload it uh, they gave me this piece of paper when they sent back my PCM and it basically says to download and update your VCM suit to the beta. I didn't have that version installed previously. I just went with the stable version because if you download the beta version, there's this message that pops up warning you that there could be bugs. So I was like, well, I'd rather have stability. So I went with that one. And uh, then I just downloaded the beta version. And then they were also talking about this piece of paper um, basically going on to your VCM scanner and then uh, clearing a, a code when you plug it in. I tried doing that, but for some reason, the button you click to go on it, uh, it's like this green button, it, it just wasn't letting me do it. So I didn't do that. I, I thought it was just for clearing a code anyway, so I didn't think it was super important. But I didn't know if those two things affected when I uploaded the tune, so I was trying to, you know, find like what variable could have affected that. So I, I at least downloaded the VCM suit beta, then I retried doing it a little bit later and it went through and uh, the second time it did work. So uh, at least at the end it said um, like finished or something like that. Uh, it was like a green message. So I think it worked hopefully. So hopefully everything, uh, the tune is on my car properly and everything's gonna run great so now we're just gonna get into the next steps of putting on the supercharger 